It's time now for our entertainment segment and joining us is Africa 54 Music Time in Africa host Heather Maxwell. It's Friday, Heather. How yes, are you? fine. <laughs> Thanks, Esther. Happy Friday, everyone. I've just returned from Mozambique and it's a magical place for music. I met one artist whose life mission is to show that magic to outsiders and to local kids from within his own hometown of Unidad Sets. My name is Machumi Zango. I am a job speaker and a musician. I come from the background of traditional music. Of it's, a, it's a dominated by the timbila. It's a kind of marimba, or the, we'll call it xylophones or marimba, but as we call it timbila because we have so many uh, different types of timbila. So I play, I play chop music, that's a traditional music. We're in your residence, it's your home, it's a recording studio. You call it Nzango, which is your last name. Yeah. Nzango Artist Residency. Yeah. So tell me about this place. When I was traveling, being on a residence on the many place, I had I was missing something like okay, why I can't build something like that home where my friends can come and then we stay together, we eat together, we record. So then I start to to have these ideas of building the, 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 the house, you know, like okay, I'm not gonna make something smaller because I have a lot of friends, you know, I'm just gonna try to make <laughs> something bigger. But this place now has a big impact and I can feel uh, how much is important. And so what is your role behind the mixer here? Do you actually also work as the sound engineer while they say a residency finally says, let's record something? Because this is a recording studio yes. too. We stay here, we're rehearsing, we're recording and we mix. The studio, it's ready for that. So people come here and we record and we film. I learned a lot of things by big, by good, great masters, you know. Most of them, they pass away. And uh, what I decided to do is that I should continue the same stories, like the way how we learn how to play, that there was no professors, we were just playing on the street. And then why not to influence the young generation, you know? As you saw today, we just played on the street and we're just rehearsing straight there, you know? I become the leader of Unidad Center because I motivate a lot of kids to, they didn't go to school. So I ended up like creating like projects that the young, young kids can travel even to Europe. They just to discover the world, you know, because my first trip I was 13 years when I did my first trip to Europe and that opened my mind. So I said, okay, I should do this, this also for the young people. Because I think it's a beautiful when you can share you don't just push for yourself, you share with, you know, like today you saw it when that said, we just start to play and everyone came out. Yes. We didn't go to any houses inviting people to come. What is the relationship between dance and music in choppy music? Where there's a timbila music, the dance a day. To be a, a, a player, first you have to be a dancer. So we have in Chopi two words, coveta, it means play, kusinya, it means dance. Coveta no kusinya, you know, playing and dance. Or kusinya no coveta, dancing and you know, <laughs> Play. playing, you know. So those two things are together. So even though now you live in this area that's close to Maputo <laughs> and it's with contemporary music, you're still a traditional guy at heart. Yeah. You, don't, you still want it to be natural and not touristy. Yeah, I don't. It's because when you bring the, how you say, you put culture, you put tourism inside, you know, so then you're not doing it for love, you know. <laughs> yeah, back to you, Esther. Thank you, Heather. That was great. And have a great weekend, everyone from Africa 54.